what's up guys, Murph here. I'm finally back from H2OI. Um, it was a ton of fun. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description for the whole uh, vlog adventures, basically. The five days that I stayed up there, it was a great time and all that. But um, instead of doing videos on the Mustang I've been doing lately, we're actually gonna be doing video on the OG, my daily. Uh, we're gonna be doing, if you already clicked the video, you already know, it's five things I love about my Jetta. So first things first, we're gonna go with number one, the styling of the Mark V Jetta. I personally love the way it looks compared to the Mark VI's and the Mark IV's. I find the Mark V, something about it, it has something that will, it won't age like poorly. It's, the car's already, I would say, well, it's 2006, so yeah, it's 11 years old, and it still looks really good today, especially with the tasteful mods that I've done to it. It uh, definitely still looks good. Continuing on with the looks of the car, I'm gonna go to number two, which is gonna be the stance. The car is currently sitting on um, Raceline Ultimos, it's not even fully maxed out. I have it about halfway drop. Um, it's sitting pretty nicely. I wanted it to be more of like a track stance than a uh, like a stance stance nation stancy car. It looks pretty good because this is my daily, like uh, I've mentioned previous. Unless it's your first time on one of my videos, then yes, this is my daily. So I use this to get to, from point A to point B basically, and I just want to look good while doing it. And that's the race car I'm currently building, my 84 SVO. <laughs> the third thing is something a bit better, even though it's not the fastest motor out there, it's definitely one of the best soundings. Um, this motor is 2.5 five cylinder. It is rated at 150 horsepower stock at 170 torque. Um, I've done a few mods to it, it's probably making 160 and 170 now. With the intake, it has an exhaust system and uh, basically it. So it's probably around more 160, 165 at the moment. One reason why I love this motor so much is because it's been extremely good to me. I've had this car for four years and I've only really had one issue, which was the throttle body. It went out on me, so I got it replaced from factory warranty, so didn't really spend uh, anything. The motor is extremely dirty, I apologize for that, but I'm not really one to really pop my hood and show people that meets anyways what I got, because most people will know by hearing it that it's, uh, it's not a TSI or a TFSI motor. It's a NA 2.5, it's pretty basic, but it's pretty good on gas and it sounds extremely extremely nice, very exotic, and we're gonna get to the fourth thing I like about this car right now. Like I said, the fourth thing is the exhaust system that I did to this. It's custom, it's a Res Delete with a uh, aftermarket muffler that I got at my local shop. Um, it's actually off of a TDI, the muffler, so, and the brand uh, wasn't really, uh, they don't even know, it was just off of some old car that they had previously. But uh, it sounds really good. I'll leave a video in the description. Last but not least, we're gonna be inside and talking about the interior. Now, like I said, this car is 11 years old, so it's obviously very dated, but I like how simplistic and how everything is just right there. Um, there's no, there's not too many um, buttons, really. The only buttons you have <laughs> is like all these here, all the knobs and um, this aftermarket radio that I put in. But that's basically it. No buttons on the steering wheel, none of that. Just typical switches and yeah. Um, for me, that's how I like it. I like how everything is just right there. You don't need any fancy gimmicks as long as it works. And um, that's one reason why I love this car so much. It's just everything's there and it works. And uh, yeah, and yes, it is an automatic. Like I said, it's my daily, it's my cruiser. Um, my Mustang is manual, it's a five speed. So I have the best of both worlds. I have the auto as the cruiser and the manual as the race car. So, so yeah, um, like I said, as the fifth thing, the interior. 
it's very uh very basic but very roomy it's got everything you need and i i personally love it um, not bashing on any of the other versions like the mark fours or the sixes or any of the later models of the jettas or newer i guess of the facelift jettas but uh i i don't know i really like this it's uh when they made the mark 5 generation they really want it to be more premium i guess really share the similarities with the a4 platform that they were sharing with this car and uh, it's very very similar if you sit in like a regular a4 not the s4 or rs4 obviously um, there's a lot of similarities in the car it's really just maybe the upgrade of the um, the touch feeling and the dash and obviously the materials in here but it's more or less the same formula and um, you can honestly see um, that that's lacking, especially in the earlier versions of the Mark 6s. They're really downgrading their quality, and that's why I never got myself a Mark 6 instead of a Mark 5. And uh, to be honest, you don't see too many Mark 5s like modified as much. Like they obviously go for stancy, um, but you know, it is what it is. But like I said, these are five things that I personally love about my Mark 5. Um, if you're interested, you can um, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave the link and all that below for all my social medias. Um, you can also follow me on YouTube. You can subscribe if you want. Uh, Sir Merv. I upload at least once a week. My phone's going off. <laughs> and uh, oh my God. So uh, if this is your first time, please like, comment, subscribe. I, like I said, I upload at least once a week and um, tons of more content to come, guys. And I'll uh, see you later.